Hey, welcome back to another food review show that everybody enjoys watching. I'm back. And what do we got here for you today? Wendy's. Good old, pretty bad sometimes, most of the time, Wendy's. Uh, didn't really know what else to do, but they got a special new two new items. First is the ghost pepper fried chicken sandwich. And I initially thought, well, I guess I'll get that. And the more I thought about it, I realized I don't need to do that to my stomach. I don't need to do that to uh, my chest, which is already dealing with some indigestion issues. And then I saw they had a grilled chicken wrap ranch chicken wrap so lo and behold that's what your dear leader of the foodie federation has decided on now i wonder if it's similar to the mcdonald's snack wrap which many uh of our older watchers may recognize as a uh, staple mcdonald's item that was removed from the menu unjustly we can take a look at it it looks like a bunch of grilled chicken with cheese, ranch, and uh, romaine lettuce. I believe this was by itself five something, and the combo was $9.99. I'm um, giving the fries to my wife after I snag a few. And then they had the freestyle machine. So I did a Coke cream soda, Coke Zero, excuse me. And tastes like watered down cream soda. Not that great. Okay. Miss already, guys. Folks, it's a miss already. Oh, falling apart. I shouldn't have opened it. So the first bite is just entirely going to be tortilla. So I gotta fold it down. It's mostly just tortilla still. I didn't see how many calories this was. I think it, I did, but uh, I think it was like 700, I want to say, which is kind of a lot for just like a little wrap. I could love that. There's not many gross things I could do with this. That would make me laugh. Like without ruining it entirely and not being able to like eat it easily and not make too big of a mess. Um, it's fine. It tastes like a regular wrap with grilled chicken, cheese, and lettuce. Some tomatoes would be nice, but a fast food tomato is never really a nice treat. So maybe it's for the best it's not in there. Uh, too expensive, as always, as many of these things are. But if you're at a pinch and you don't want something fried or you don't want something that's just a burger, that's fine, I guess. It's not really worth it. It's not going to satisfy any cravings that you may have. This is something you could easily make at home. Even more so. I went in thinking I was going to do the ghost pepper sandwich. And was already thinking to myself, you know, you can do a fast food chicken sandwich at home. A fried one too. Get an air fryer. You can bake it. You can do that yourself. Pretty easy. Uh, and you can make it a lot healthier. You know, you could use egg whites. Roll it around. Eggs are cheap again. I went to Aldi. Eggs were a dollar eighteen. That's not a bad deal. Um, yeah, this is just something you could whip up at your house in the matter of four minutes. But if you're on the road driving, you're thinking, "I need something. I need to eat. I need nuts." 
<laughs> I need nuts, and I mean quickly. Then you should grab it. It's definitely a uh, like a two, two and a half out of five. It's not going to make you feel bad though, which is definitely a good thing for a lot of fast food. Sometimes you have fast food, and after about a half hour, hour, your stomach starts gurgling. You're like, Ugh. Ugh. Granted, that doesn't happen if you're not if you're eating some of the normal things. You go to McDonald's, you have a Big Mac. I don't think a Big Mac really ever, ever hurts anybody's stomach. Even the Quarter Pounder. Uh, sometimes, I guess. But, like, you come to Wendy's and you get, like, a triple stack Dave's bacon, baconator or whatever, and then you put, like, ghost pepper sauce on it. Yeah, you're gonna fucking have a heartburn. You're gonna feel sick. You're gonna feel really bad. And it's greasy as fuck, so don't do that. If you're going for the best deal of Wendy's, I guess it's like the $5 biggie bag or whatever. Uh, which is like a burger, chicken sandwich, fries, drink, and nuggets. This is not a good deal. But it's going to make you feel fine. And I guess I keep saying that. That is the, I guess the whole theme of this review is that if you eat this, you won't feel that bad. And that is probably the only positive I could say about getting this uh, wrapped. So there you have it, folks. Uh, two, two and a half out of five, whatever, really doesn't matter. The Wendy's Ranch Grilled Chicken Wrap. I love you. Bye-bye.